Why do we release captive giant pandas into the wild? Hu Jinchu, an academic and expert on giant panda research, once said, The captive giant panda breeding technology has made great progress. Now it is the right and urgent time to focus on putting giant pandas into their real home, the wild. What Hu Jinchu said indicates that we need to help reintroduce captive giant pandas into the wild. Why do we have to do that? Releasing giant pandas into the wild is considered to be the fastest way to solve the problem of wild giant panda habitat fragmentation. According to the survey on the survival of wild giant pandas in 2015, there are about 33 isolated small populations of wild giant pandas in China, and the fragmentation of their habitats makes it impossible for the populations to communicate and integrate well. After successfully releasing captive giant pandas into the wild, we can regulate the number of giant pandas in each isolated environment, thus preventing the decline and extinction of small populations. As well, releasing captive giant pandas into the wild can improve the genetic diversity of the wild giant panda population. We can train captive giant pandas for the wild, and when they're ready, release them. By doing this, we are adding new genes into the wild panda populations, making them much more genetically diverse. This lays a solid foundation for increasing giant panda population in the future. China released the China Biodiversity Conservation Action Plan in 1994, which was regarded as an attempt to release captive giant pandas into the wild. The good news was that researchers had successfully released Tao Tao, Zhang Chang, and Hu Zhao. The pilot project of the Giant Panda National Park System was completed in Sichuan in 2020, which also provides favorable conditions for the reintroduction and release of giant pandas into the wild. We giant pandas are eager to go out and see the world.